so let us get this thing We are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. <laughs> the chicken is coming on very nicely. Oh, good. Yeah. So while we're waiting for it, we are setting sail again soon. What's going to be our next country? We're going to be leaving Antigua. Yeah, and it's oh, yeah. my 100th country. Unique country stamps in my Individual. passport. 100 different countries. <laughs> Let's look at the map. And it's difficult. We would like to have some Mount Gaia rum in Barbados. But they've got quite a bit of COVID restrictions, eh? Cuba. What about Cuba? No, well, that's a bit far, eh? We're approaching hurricane season now. And Bahamas is too far. I want to go to a place where there's a rum. Okay, so we have a few few things. Our visas, so we are South African, so our uh, South We're African limited. passport uh, is limited, mm -hmm. so we need Schengen visas for Schengen areas or territories or US visas for... And since we are South Africans, not many people like us because of the COVID strain that we have. Yeah, so we've got hurricane, we've got limited visas, we've got COVID. We can go to 18 different countries in the Caribbean without, without the visa. visas. Remember, we need to come down to no. Granada and beyond before hurricane seriously hits us. So what, wherever we go now, so we need to be able we to, have be, to get have back. Time to go there and still go down to Granada. What else have you got in mind? What? Where's that place where the airplane lands? So. That's but Martin. But that's an option, that's not too far. Just around us is Montserrat. But Saint Montserrat Kitts. is still also limited with entry, people entry. BVI, but BVI is uh, closed. We can go max. to Dominica. Maximum. Martinique, we cannot go to. St. Lucia, we can go to St. Lucia. Before that's going that. down. St. Vincent, we, and then we're going south, right? We can go Granada and Barbados. And mm -hmm. Barbados. Trinidad, we, oh, but Trinidad is closed. Yeah. Let us talk to some of our friends, South African friends, and then we, we, we decide. Yeah. Because St. Martin is a nice option. That's just a few hours north. I will talk to Gary. Will you talk to Gary? Mm. Gary and Beth, our friends on They've been Tugay, asked him from now. South Africa. Will you send them a message? Mm. Where are they at the moment? What? They, they in uh, um, St. Martin. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, Pietro is busy filling in all the required forms to enter St. Martin. Yep. I'm going to start preparing the sails, so, but it is dark outside. Oops. It's still very dark and it's cold. It is. It is a bit chilly today. So let us get this thing. We are on our way and just check this view behind me. It is just amazing. But my view is better. Look at that. We've got our sails up. And we are heading for St. Martin. And that is a pretty, pretty view. I'm 
running the engines to charge the batteries but the speed that we're doing now and the reason for that is we're flying the Cody and I'm looking with angst anxiety at that clouds coming towards us that looks like a lot of rain but also the clouds is very high so not just a rain cloud it might even be like a very big squally cloud so and the wind is coming from that direction i need to make sure that that stays off so i switched on the radar and i still cannot see it on the radar so hopefully we're fine but i need to look at the wind the wind is picking up slowly but surely it's picking up so maybe it's time to drop the code d that squall is definitely getting bigger and i managed to pick it up here on the radar and the way i did it was i go to my radar screen and then i go to settings over here and I select weather and I want to select weather you can see the clouds over there if you select it for example offshore then you will see it will disappear or get very small you see then what I did was I put a tracking so you can just put something there and say acquire target and we have got a target there so just say acquire target and then the radar will tell you the direction and how fast it goes it's not accurate because it's a big storm cloud so it picks up whatever is um, inside or the biggest mass it can get inside right there where St. Bart is that is you cannot see St. Bart I think on the camera but there's a little outline of, of, of land right below those clouds there and you can actually see that that's that those clouds and rain already here yeah. so here's St. Bart and this is the cloud that's just in front of it and you can actually see it is raining over there um, so I'm going to acquire that one as well so we say here and go acquire target now the radar will try and find the target and it will can tell me which direction it goes oh well as close as possible to the direction that the storm is going so now i can see those two is tracking more or less in the same direction as we go so they will definitely overtake us very soon so i'm going to i'm going to bring down a code d that will be the safest okay him put the code default up and the Genoa is out again because we still have decent wind it's not that it is life-threatening but the code D is difficult to fill while the Genoa is much easier to to fill under heavy wind and we can very much easily also reef the, the main or the Genoa so and that's where the storm is now it's coming so it seems like it's fizzling out it's not much left <coughs> and it looks like it's going to pass in front of us and that one in front there is already gone you can actually see now the islands quite well and there is the hundredth country my hundredth country it is St. Martin you can now see St. Martin there in the distance Summons by Port Authority, Summons by Port Authority, Summons by Port Authority. This is Sisu, Sisu, Sisu. Okay. 
we had a very very good sale last yesterday and we came in last night but the immigration office is already closed or was closed i think it's still closed and just look where are we we can hear chickens in St. Martin so we're just going to have a cup of coffee and then we need to go and see whether we can check in and we need to send some stuff via email to them and we don't have internet catch 22 coming up but we will go in nevertheless and see whether we can organize something and also get some internet and start our Santa Martin journey we are on our way to check in in St. Martin so I hope this is a country because if it is a country then it will be my hundredth country I was just looking at the plane going up and guess what we're gonna do do that famous standing under the what at the fence at the runway as the planes come to land so we're on the Dutch side and inside here is where the bridge is and where the immigration and customs is so we're heading there and there's the bridge and the light is red. So we tied up Tipex here. We think this is the place. <laughs> so, but not sure whether this is all just damage from hurricanes and stuff, but it doesn't look... Welcoming. Yeah, it doesn't look welcoming. But let us see. Maybe this is the place. Let's check it out. Mask on. So this is the famous landing strip in the Caribbean. Where all beachgoers go and hang on to an insipid little fence while the Boeing goes over. And that is where it all happens. Yeah, so that was pretty much a bummer um, to be denied. Uh, they were partly our own faults, but we thought our South African friends are there and we confirmed that they actually got in with their South African passports uh, because we thought they might have had British passports, but um, they actually got in with their South African passports. Anyway, then we realized uh, it was the B1, B2 visas in their passports that allowed them entry into St. Martin. So, bummer for us. Um, a big downer. So what we did is we just um, sail around the corner to the French side because we were stuck in pretty much in a corner because um, first of all it was weekend and second of all we were running out of hours because you have to have a negative PCR test within 72 hours of arriving into a country. So those 72 hours are busy diminishing like crazy. So, um, and we couldn't go for another PCR test because we weren't allowed into St. Martin. So that was just like hanging around on internet and applying. So the next, so that cost us to St. Martin, we had to go for PCR tests and we had to take out medical insurance so the, the PCRs was $150 each and the medical was 30 each. We were denied and they refused to refund us the medical. So we said, but we weren't allowed into the country, so we're not going to make use of it. And you cannot proceed with the application until you've got proof that you've actually paid for the medical. So it's re the system just sucks as far as that's concerned. So then we applied for BDI. So again, were the with the application, you have to take out medical insurance. You cannot carry on with the application unless you upload a receipt that you've actually taken out the insurance and upload the insurance as well. 
um, the medical insurance. So we paid there, it was very expensive. It was a thousand and seventy odd dollars for the two of us. And uh, we, until today, have not received any word back from BBR. I have emailed the medical insurance company on numerous occasions and they refused point blank to refund us the $1,000. They just said, one of those things. Then we applied for some kits. And then again, bearing in mind, it was still weekend, so, um, so we sent the application through. Again, we had to take out medical insurance, and that was 30 bucks each. So we sent that through, and um, on the Monday morning, actually on our way, we were busy sailing back, but we got the news, and Shane, this lady really tried. We missed it by a couple of hours because they were not open on the weekend. They couldn't process our application. And then when it came to Monday morning, when they opened, they said, oh, sorry, your 72 hours expired, so we cannot welcome you into our country. So a very expensive, unnecessary experience. So what we got from, what we're taking home from this is just make 100% certain that you can go wherever you're going to, just check with the latest authorities and um, requirements before you start spending all this type of money, which was really not, not necessary. Yeah, so it's, it really puts a damper on, on traveling, but I think everybody's going through this. So we just have to chin up, cheer up, at least we are still on Sisu and we're still having a great time. <laughs> I haven't got a clue Was it gotta be me? What the hell am I supposed to do?